Hello everybody, welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today we're looking at the Indra Smart Pro. So Indra, a company based in Malvern in the UK, um, although this product may be new to a lot of you, Indra are not new to um, design and development of EV chargers and have actually been behind the scenes helping other companies um, do their R&D on EV chargers. And they've been uh, in the background for a while and decided that it was time to launch their own product and get their own name out there. Um, so they've come up with the Indra Smart Pro. So the charge point itself is um, priced in the middle of the market. So it's not one of the cheapest, it's not one of the most expensive. So there's a lot of charge points out there on the market already. So I'll be looking at what makes the Indra different and why you might consider it. So I'll start off by saying that the Indra is a product that has been designed by engineers. You can tell that by some of the thoughts that have gone into it and the construction and some of the engineering. Now engineering is a thing that gets me really excited. So there are a few key selling points that we'll go through now. Firstly, it's one of the safest products in terms of its pen fault system. Um, so it actually has two kinds of pen fault system. So for those of you who don't know, a lot of charge points, unless they have an open pen fault system built into the unit, they require an earth rod. This unit doesn't require an earth rod, but unlike some other charge points where they do the minimum required by the regulations, the Indra follow the regulations exactly to the letter and they cover all possible scenarios. I won't bore you with the details, but basically this device can cover all possible situations and is one of the safest on the market in the event of a pen fault. So you won't get electric shock from the vehicle's bodywork. Another interesting feature on the Indra, um, like a few other charge points, it measures, uh, you can do load management and solar integration using a CT clamp. But unlike some of the other charge points, it ha actually has a calibration cycle and it will self-calibrate um, throughout its life. This means that um, the, the actual the load management and the solar integration is more accurate, so you're more likely to be pulling exactly what is being produced by your solar and what would be exported to the grid, and your load management is totally reliable. So that's another nice uh, engineering feature that's integrated into the Indra. So currently um, it's available in this white finish, comes in a tethered and untethered version. Uh, the tethered version and the untethered version, the way that the sockets plug in, unlike a lot of charge points where the plug uh, goes into the socket like this and the, the arm is sticking out, with the Indra it plugs in in this sort of really flat fashion so it's, it doesn't stick out, people are less likely to knock it walking past uh, so you're less likely to damage the charge point and less likely to um, you know, catch your arm on it or whatever. So it's not one of the smallest, um, but it's quite uh, professional looking. I think some people really like it. Again, as this was designed by engineers, they really put some thought into the construction of the outer casing. I did a little demonstration earlier, which I recorded separately. So you can have a look at that now. So one of the big selling points of the Indra is the quality of the materials that they use in the construction. So let's take the Indra and compare the white on this older unit. So this is a charge point, we won't mention the manufacturer, but it's one that we've removed from somebody's house because they weren't happy with the end product after a couple of years. And we swapped it out for something more appropriate. You can check out the colour, the discoloration. So this was originally white, like the Indra. But because of the quality of the plastics in this, over time they've faded and they've got this yellowish colour that's very common in cheap plastics. Now Indra say that they've put this through its paces and this won't happen with the plastics used in their charge point. 
Um, as well as that, it's IK10 impact resistant. So it's a lot tougher, a um, lot harder to break. So I think the lesson there is buy once and buy it right. Don't go cheap and then regret it down the line. Big positive on the Indra, won't go yellow, it won't dull and it's a lot harder to break. But at the end of the day, that's what will happen if you buy your charge point from, I don't know, say a British petroleum company of some kind. On the front here, you've got a few nice features. There's a light here, which gives you the status of the unit at any time. Uh, it's also got a boost button, which I think is a really handy feature. So if you just want to, you get back and you want to charge your car up quickly, a lot of charge points you have to get out the app, the, your phone, go into the app and start it charging. Whereas you hit the boost button, start your car charging immediately, rather than having to wait for the charge cycle at night. So I think that's a really handy feature. I'd like to see more charge points having that integrated into their setup. So I'll just show a demo of the being plugged in. So at the moment, the, the uh, injury is set to um, charge on a schedule. So it's working out that the cheapest way to do it is to charge at the not at night. But I want to give it a boost, hit the boost button, and it starts charging. So I think that's a really handy feature that should be integrated into more charge points. You also get these little flashing lights to indicate it's charging at full rate. So in terms of connectivity, Standard, it comes with hardwired ethernet. So you can plug it into an ethernet connection. That's how we've got it set up on this demo at the moment. Um, there's also an option for a 4G dongle, which can be plugged in. And that comes with three years of uh, the SIM card data. So that's a great option. If you've not got the ability to plug an ethernet cable in, very shortly, they'll be bringing out a version of this with a Wi-Fi chip. That means that this will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network um, but Indra, um, knowing how they are, they, they, they like to make sure everything is kind of foolproof and never fails. So their preferred option is the hardwired ethernet, if that's possible. So as I said at the beginning, Indra are a UK company based in Malvern in the Midlands. The units are produced in the UK. They're using UK suppliers for the components. I'm hoping to get on site and view their facilities at some point myself but um, from what I hear, they've got really stringent quality controls to make sure that they don't have any problems, any units going out. And they're looking at, um, at the moment, they're looking at zero field failures. The way they talk about what they're doing in the quality systems on the, uh, the assembly of the charge points and the manufacture of the products, it all looks very positive. Another advantage to the design, manufacturing assembly being done in the UK is keeping those uh, air miles down on the components and so keeping the actual overall carbon emissions for producing these units pretty low. So if you're someone who's purchasing an electric vehicle because you're concerned about your impact on the environment, that's something to consider versus buying something that's been shipped from the other side of the world. So in terms of software, um, it is OCPP compatible which means you can use it with fleet solutions, um, any kind of back office solutions for payment using an app, for example, or um, a con separate contactless payment module. So it is useful for businesses as well as homes to be used with uh, third party software if needed uh, or desirable. If you are interested in one, get in touch with us um, via our social media channels. Make sure you give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of our future videos. We've got loads of videos on different EV chargers, other related renewable tech such as our solar array, videos on our Tesla, videos on all sorts of EV tech and other related technologies. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>